Hello YouTube, this is Daz of the Cameraman. Today is Saturday, April 8th, 2017. And this is a quick video looking at some video I shot last night of Jupiter through the Nikon P900 camera. Doesn't it look great? <laughs> yes, of course I'm joking. This is what people often present to us and claim that they're filming stars or UFOs or Nibiru or anything but... Uh, what we're really looking at. This is of course a very out of focus view of Jupiter. So let's play the video and take a closer look as I focus the camera and we'll see what Jupiter should look like when the camera is properly focused. Now in my last video I showed you the tripod that I'm using and I pointed out that when you zoomed right up of course any movement, any touching of the controls on the camera when you zoomed right up will result in a lot of camera shake which is what you're seeing here. So now you can see Jupiter is in focus. I'm still trying to um, refine the focus here which is why it's shaking about. But you can see those four smaller star-like objects are the four main moons of Jupiter. These are the four big moons. Um, there are 67 moons around Jupiter and these are the four big moons that Galileo uh, first discovered, I think it was back in 1610, when he aimed his primitive telescope at Jupiter. And uh, what you're seeing here now with that light is I'm I'm actually shining light into the camera. I'm getting ready to adjust the uh, auto exposure lock. And uh, when I do that, we'll be able to see the cloud belts on Jupiter. I'll probably step the video ahead because I'm I'm playing around with the camera a little bit here. So I'll just step, step this ahead to that point. So here I'm shining the light and adjusting the auto exposure lock. Now you can see that we can't see those um, four moons, but we can make out the cloud belts, those horizontal stripes across the surface of Jupiter. Now if I took some of this video and uh, took some still frames off it, I could run it through programs such as Registax and bring out the detail on Jupiter. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I will probably try and get some clearer images than what I've got here before I try that to make it worthwhile. Um, but Registax will really bring out the detail. Uh, you'd be surprised the results you can get using Registax. So that's the difference between having the camera adjusted to see the, the moons and having the camera adjusted to see the, the detail on the surface of Jupiter. And this sort of answers the question too when some of the flat earthers talk about the, the photos taken from the International Space Station and they say, why can't we see any stars? Well, the camera is adjusted to see the Earth, not the stars. In fact, you can see photos of stars from the International Space Station, but of course the camera is adjusted to see the stars. If you take a photo with a camera during the day and use the same settings that you took during the day and try and take a photo of the night sky, you're not going to see anything. And the opposite is also true. If you take a photo of the night sky showing all of the stars and you use the same settings during the day, all you're going to see is a big whiteout as the picture is overexposed during the day because the camera will be far too sensitive uh, because it was set up for taking a night shot and the, the sunlight will just drown out the, the camera and you'll just see a big white image and nothing else. So that is why you don't see any stars in the images of the Earth from the International Space Station or from the Moon for that matter. Anyway, that's just a quick video. I thought you might find that interesting, seeing, seeing the difference between uh, Jupiter with its four moons and adjusting the auto exposure lock. You can see I've just released it there and we can see those four moons again. Thank you for watching.